Prime Minister, he's tying himself in knots over treaty at the moment and whether he supports a Commonwealth push, he said, said, you know, some states are, are already underway in pursuing their own versions of it. What are your thoughts on, on, on his avoiding that question? And Linda Burney, for that matter, too. Well, he has committed to implementing the Uluru Statement in full, which is voice, treaty, truth. He's committed to doing that in this term of parliament. He was wriggling around yesterday, both on radio and in the parliament, trying to draw some distinction between state government treaties, Commonwealth treaties, nothing to do right now, maybe something in the next term of parliament. Meanwhile, we had the Indigenous Australians minister unable to even explain what a Makarata is or is meant to be or will look like or how much it will cost. Now, there's $5.8 million allocated to the Makarata. $900,000 in setting up the commission has already been spent. We asked a simple question yesterday. What's that money been spent on? What will the Makarata do once it's there? This is taxpayers' money. And we didn't even get an answer that included the word Makarata on Monday. And uh, uh, we certainly aren't much closer to that today. So I don't think the Minister for Indigenous Australians is up to the task. And... I can tell you, Pete, that if you're someone who passionately supports the yes case, you're really disappointed in this government right now because you're not seeing them explain, argue, not seeing the courage of their convictions. You're just seeing them avoiding the question. Is Peter Dutton missing an opportunity by not going to Gama this weekend? Indigenous policy is about much more than the Gama Festival. The Gama Festival is significant and many politicians have attended it over many years. I was pretty disappointed to see Anthony Albanese politicise the Gama Festival and make this question about one day in the calendar, important though that day may be. There are hard yards to do in getting it right, in getting the outcomes that we all want to see for Indigenous Australians wherever they are in this country, in all of the circumstances of their lives. And if the Prime Minister and his ministers can't even answer basic questions about what the voice will look like, about what the Makarata will do, about how much this will cost. I mean, this is what happens, Pete, when you try to alter the Constitution, our founding document, just on a vibe.